Coming up to the finishing line. Cut the horse shit. Know your role. And remember, money wins. Here's to us. Succession season two, and I am so late on this. And before I get into it, this is full of spoilers. You have been warned. At the end of season one, a lot of things are in play. A lot more people are figuring out about the secrets of the cruise line. Shiv and Tom start to have an open relationship. Greg's up to his bullshit. And most importantly, Logan helped cover up Kendall killing a kid. So Logan has Kendall by the balls. This season was fucking fantastic. The best types of follow-up seasons or sequels are the types that really elevate what happened before. This season elevates everything that happened in season one and improves on it in flawless ways. I mean, every single dynamic in this season is so interesting and engaging, fucking hilarious, and just awesome. There is never a dull moment in this season. Like I said before, Logan has Kendall by the balls. He's making Kendall do things that are just killing him mentally, like firing all those people, eventually going to the house of the parents of the kid that he killed, and Logan knows that it's killing him mentally, but at the same time, it's observing his dominance over Kendall. Basically, Kendall can't do anything, so we think. In a way, it reminded me of a less extreme version of Theon or Reek from Game of Thrones, but Kendall and Logan's dynamic wasn't the only interesting dynamic of this season. Every other dynamic was so fascinating to watch. I love Tom and Greg in the season. The episode where they're in the escape room or the panic room is so fucking funny. They are comedy gold. This season is really funny. There are so many outrageously fucking hilarious moments in the season, but there are also some extremely suspenseful and dramatic sequences in this season as well. Like, for example, the bore on the floor sequence that happens earlier in the season and in my opinion is where the season just really picks up and never slows down but that whole sequence as funny as it is it's also terrifying and just so uncomfortable but it's fucking awesome it's so creative i just love kendall throughout this whole sequence is looking around at everyone like yeah i told you that he's lost his fucking mind you should have voted him out when we did in season one but no Look what you guys are doing now. Oh, and I gotta say, one of the other reasons why this season is so fucking great is because of the cast. Everyone here does a flawless job. All the performances are perfect. Jeremy Strong, all of them. But Brian Cox, as Logan Roy, is fucking amazing. And we see more of him in season two. Season one, he had the stroke, so we didn't see him as much, and... He can really talk and do all that. This season, he is in the front lines, doing his bullshit, and it's fucking awesome. An unreal performance by Brian Cox. Won a Golden Globe, rightfully so. Basically, like all of them won Emmys for their performances. They are flawless performances in the season. They are amazing, but we get more of Logan Roy, and that really elevates the season, but... Gotta give hats off to the performances in this season. But like I said before, it really feels like everything they set up in season one has been completely elevated in this season. Characters' interactions, the stuff with the cruise lines, they gotta go to DC and testify. That was extremely suspenseful, but it was fucking hilarious. And they had to read out Tom's emails and it said, you can't make a Tomlet without breaking a few Gregs. I fucking lost it. And throughout the season, all these variables that are thrown their way that is derailing their plan or anything that they're doing, it's not like it's coming out of nowhere. These things were established in season one, but now they're coming to bite them in the ass. And the cruise line stuff was the biggest thing that they had to deal with, and that comes in the forefront, the finale. They have to make a blood sacrifice, as Logan says, and that finale is fucking perfect. They're just all chilling on this giant yacht, which that yacht is fucking bananas by the way but they're all just chilling on this yacht it's so interesting to see who they're going to throw under the bus who's going to take the fall for this cruise line stuff there's some very funny moments in it but it's also very serious and suspenseful and to be honest throughout the whole episode i had no idea what they're going to do and we get this hilarious moment what the fuck then when you think about it, you knew they were going to pick Kendall to do it. Because he is a scapegoat. Logan has everything on him, so you knew that was going to happen. And then they have that conversation about how Kendall doesn't have that killer instinct. And then 
Kendall gives Logan that Judas kiss on the cheek that I didn't notice when I first watched because I did not know what was going to happen next. And then, yes, one of the most shocking things I've seen in a television show ever. Kendall goes in front of everyone and says that Logan knew about everything all along and all the cover-up. While he's doing that, he is just looking straight to the camera and straight into Logan's soul. But at the same time, as Logan is watching, he gives this grin that he's like, sickly proud of Kendall for being that killer. He's proud of him for burying him essentially. But also that grin kind of gave me the vibes of like, I'm proud of you son, but you better not miss. Cause if you miss, I'm going to fucking kill you. And I also love that Greg is gonna team up with Kendall now because Greg is probably my favorite character. I mean, it's with these characters, like all of them are fucking assholes, but it's just so fun to watch all of them. I just love Greg. Greg has so many great moments in this season. He was fucking amazing. He got nominated for an Emmy. He deserves it for sure. And I don't know how long this series is going to go for, but I can see them building up to where Greg somehow ends up being the CEO of the company. I mean, fuck, I would love to see that. But seriously, though, what a fucking fantastic finale. What a twist. Something that was built to that moment and it was really shocking because you really felt like Kendall could never go back on Logan, but he just did. There was so much that were built to those moments in the finale that really paid off and there are a lot more things set up for upcoming seasons. I mean, the biggest thing, it's Kendall versus Logan now. Like I said about the end of season one, there are so many things they set up moving forward that I'm just really excited to see. This show so far is just so flawlessly executed and written with their characters, how things happen. Like I said before, there's really no likable character. They're all fucking assholes, but they're all perfectly recognized right now. All their arcs are forming perfectly. They're just so perfectly written. Everything about this season was just perfect. I don't know how to explain it. There was really no dull moment in the season. Everything the characters did throughout this season were fascinating, fucking hilarious, and really dramatic. This season really elevated every single aspect from season one, and it's flawless. I really have no issues with this season. I am so excited to see what happens in season three. I wish I saw this live, but part of me is kind of happy I didn't because I would have had to wait this long for season three. It's almost been two years after that fucking bombshell of a cliffhanger. So I'm kind of glad I just saw it now so I don't have to wait as long. But at the same time, I would have loved to watch this live because this was one of the best seasons of television HBO has ever produced. This is one of the best shows on television right now. The season was absolutely flawless in every single way. I cannot give this season any more compliments. Season two of Succession, of course, gets 10 Davy Daves. It's over, it's over. There's so much more I could have talked about, but I don't want to make these videos too long. Those are like the highlights. There are so many great things that happened throughout this season. I really don't know how they're gonna to top this season, but it's clear these writers, these creators of the show, they have a vision, they know what they're gonna do, and I cannot wait to see how all these things play out. So, season two of Succession. Let me know what you guys thought if you've seen it, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more Dave Dave's takes. L to the OG.